What I have here is a toggle switch off the motor of a probably a 60 or 70 year old Foley belt saw uh, sander, little belt sander that I use every day almost. And this switch failed in the on position. And I'm going to try to repair it here if possible. This is just a little tool I made to uh, rock these tabs open. Mostly I use this on old DC motors, but this should work here pretty well. A little bit nicer than uh, jamming a screwdriver in there just to get it started. This is a 20 amp switch. Like I say, it's probably probably 60 years old or more, 60 or 70 years old in daily use. And it's got a little bit different tab configuration. I'm choosing to repair this or see if I can repair it rather than uh, just, you know getting in the car and going down trying three different stores and not finding one mainly because I want to just finish the project I'm on to and if this is repairable it'll only take me a few minutes to take it apart and see if it's repairable I can get my project done and then you know just find a new switch at my leisure so that's why I'm doing that rather than just replacing it it will get replaced but A lot of times these old ones can be, you know, get a little bit more life out of them. And that's just absolutely filthy in there. The old dielectric and years of accumulated dust and grime and debris and sawdust and everything else. See what I can do to get that cleaned up and uh, check the contacts and see if there's anything left on them. Probably not. I guess I can't focus quite that close with this lens. Wow, that is just... Unbelievable. The back side, there's a contact, totally burned up. I'm sure this one will be the same. I'm just going to take this out and really scrub it up and blow it out with some compressed air. Maybe take a brush to it. Yeah, got everything cleaned up here. Contact is shot. Looks like it's nickel silver. Um, that contact there is also shot, but I, I let's see if they have continuity. They might might still touch. All right, so they're touching. So I think what I can do maybe is uh, just try to maybe 
swage that out a little bit, get a little more of a dome shape to it. It's got a block of uh, figured maple here, and I'll take a automatic center punch. And I've got it pretty much loosened up, and I just see if I can maybe shape a little dome. That's starting. That's kind of it's just pushing itself into the wood there and creating its own little shape. And I think that that's helpful. That's better than it was. And I just swage the back uh, rivet part with a ball bearing and another another automatic center punch. No, nope, let's uh, let's magnetize that. That also is what fits the uh, end of the toggle lever. I think that looks good. Yeah, we'll call that good. Not much I can do with that inner contact. I did clean it up and I uh, wire brushed it. Make sure it still has continuity. All right. I think it's worth a try. this point I'd probably be just starting to walk into the first door to find out they don't have one. Let's put a little drop of uh, dielectric on there. It's nice, I like that. I think I may have mentioned um, this stuck in the on position. And so what I suspected in there was dirt. And I, you know, I had a pretty good sense that it would work if it was cleaned out. So the pliers to bend those back. All right, it feels pretty good. I think it'll get me through this little job just fine. I 
had a little tiny bit of that uh, Bakelite break off. I'm just going to put that on. It doesn't affect anything. I'm just putting it back on. Is reinforced CA. that on there for a few seconds and that'll be just fine. Okay, here it is back installed on the motor. I think this is a one horse motor. I forgot to look. There it goes. I just need to do that about a dozen times. I'll be done with this job and at my leisure I can find another switch. A good one that maybe will last another 30 or 40 years. And there's the old sander. And I say it's from the 50s or 60s because it has no guards on it. And according to uh, Mr. Pete, back then we had something called personal responsibility. So thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a very, very happy new year. So long.